Hello, YouTube. Today I'll be making an overview of, of certain scenarios when, where I believe that it's more optimal to use bootcamp and when it's better to use a virtual machine. So as you can see, I'm using both bootcamp and I'm also using a virtual machine using Parallels Desktop. And I'll illustrate particular features of Parallel Desktop within this video. So not only do I have Windows XP and Parallels Desktop, I have different operating systems. You just don't see them right now because I actually have them on a flash drive. So one of the biggest advantages, and this would be a huge advantage for any SSD user, would be you can actually store the virtual machine on a flash drive. So I'm just going to plug in my 64 gig USB 3.0 flash drive into my computer right now. And once I plug it in, you'll actually be able to load any virtual machine off of this USB. So you have a folder called VMs, and inside here I have different virtual machines that I can load up. For example, let's say I want to load up Ubuntu Linux. Registering Ubuntu 12.0 for desktop on Parallels Desktop. And here we can see it's unable to start. Free at least 1072 and start again. So as you can see, I don't have enough space on my flash drive. But however, it is possible to start up, to start this up on a flash drive like this. So Really, this is a major advantage for any virtual machine user, especially those who want to use it on a flash drive. Similarly, another advantage of using a virtual machine, and it may seem obvious, but you can actually load it while you're running Mac OS X. This can be a huge advantage to many users, as if you're using very simple tasks and you don't need the horsepower, it can easily run very smoothly and effectively without actually requiring a, hard, um, a reboot. As you can tell, it starts up very quickly. Let's make this smaller. And you can see how I can quickly resize it and I can make it according to the size that I want on my computer at any given time. So here I resized it accordingly and I have my virtual machine all nice and loaded. Another advantage of using a virtual machine is that you can customize and you can run any operating system you want even if it's not supported by bootcamp drivers. So for example, I have Windows XP running. Windows XP is not supported by Mac, especially on Mac OS X Mavericks, the OS I'm running right now. This is especially something that's very useful, and I'd say that this is something that you would need to use if you're interested in running anything like Windows XP. A reason why uh, you'd run Windows XP is that it uses less space. Another advantage of this is that you don't have a fixed partition. Right now, I'm only using uh, I only I have 25 gigs free on my bootcamp partition. If it would have been a virtual machine, I would have had 25 more gigs on my Mac partition because it's sharing it and it's dynamically changing its size. This way, I have to reinstall bootcamp or use software in order to change the partition size for bootcamp. Also, virtual machines are actually a lot faster than some people would think. While some people think they're laggy, it can actually handle some very light games quite reasonably, I guess. You can certainly play Minecraft with it. I'm just going to load a game, a pretty old game, Car World Racing 2. You can tell that it's not quite the, la the smoothest, but it's not the laggiest game in the world either. I installed Fraps on this so you can see how many frames per second I'm getting. So that's something else. You can also configure your virtual machine however you want. So for example, you can you can change um, how much RAM it's using. You can change the battery usage. So you can dedicate a certain amount of video memory if you want more to be accessed to the virtual machine or Mac OS X. You can change a lot of different options, including the RAM usage, how many CPUs you want, etc. See, okay. So mainly for bootcamp, if you're interested in gaming, obviously bootcamp would be a stronger performer or anything intensive such as Sony Vegas video editing, AutoCAD, etc. But for basic usage such as real life programming, I'd recommend you actually use Windows XP uh, or any other OS using parallel desktop or a virtual machine because it simply loads up significantly faster. I can quickly load up a Visual, Visual C Sharp on this using Visual Studio, load up any application that I want to load up for example, this MacBook program. Just quick, quick, quick run, and then it all runs nice and fast. And it just runs very effectively. Now, another addition to this is that you can have your original Mac experience on something like this by entering coherence mode. 
So coherence mode was essentially activate like a Mac, so everything appears like a Mac. So here I have Visual Studio running inside my Mac environment. So it truly feels like I'm actually running this on a native Mac computer. This is certainly something that's very useful, and it's a little bit laggy, but it's, it's, it's quite powerful, especially if you're only using something simple, such as um, a script editor when programming. So that's that. Now you can head back here to um, Parallels Desktop and you can shut down our Windows XP. And this will not affect our Mac OS X partition. An advantage, another advantage to um, Parallels Desktop is that you can easily migrate it or migrate to and from Bootcamp. So you have an option to migrate your virtual machine from bootcamp and so on and so forth to allow you to easily modify all your information. You can also make backups easier than copying the whole partition because you just simply copy over whatever you have from your virtual machine. So yeah, that's about it for um, Parallels Desktop and Virtual Machines. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want more about this topic, please comment below and I'll make more videos for sure. So thanks for watching.